Hold up. So, my boyfriend's on his way to pick me up. We're about to go camping in Utah, in Mount Zion, and this is actually my first time camping ever, so I know I'm gonna love it though. I love the, I love nature and I love like just getting out there and kind of being in solitude in nature. So I'm really excited for that because I'm turning 25 and I really want to reflect on what I've learned these past 25 years. So I think just camping and being like disconnected in nature is the perfect way to do it. I just got here. That's my dad. Um, and yeah, I've been telling myself to make a YouTube video for so many years now, and I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna record this experience and what I've learned these 25 years, and thank you for watching. So let's get this ball rolling. All right guys, the boyfriend has picked me up. And we're actually on our way to Flagstaff before we go to Utah because we're gonna go to Utah tomorrow once we're in Flagstaff because my best friend lives out there. So we're gonna spend the night there and then hit up Utah tomorrow morning. The peaks. It's a funny story, I actually used to live in these apartments. I lived in the door right next to hers right there. And we graduated and then left. But here we are, back again. All right guys, not sure how much of me you can see, but um, why it ended up not being able to come. So of course that's super sad, but we're gonna leave in a bit. Um, Maddie is finishing up packing. I mean, we're all packing, but she just gotta grab one more thing. And we're on our way to Utah. We're gonna hit Mount Zion. Of course we're sad that Wyatt can't join us, but we're still gonna have fun regardless. Fuck it, so we'll update you, let you know when we're there. The clouds are out exactly the same, <laughs> same exact shape. That's crazy. I feel like the universe is talking. This is so excited to be like disconnected from nature. I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, disconnected with nature. <laughs> Disconnected with nature, okay? Sure. <laughs> I mean, it's not, we haven't set up yet, but we're about to, so this is pre-set up. We got a little nice picnic table over here, a little fireplace to cook, a little log to sit on.
I don't think it's gonna come at us. I think it's just eating some grass. Yeah. Let me record. Maybe he wants so. to play chess. And here's his plane. I know you're trying to find ways out of it, but guys, she's not making it out. It's like a fucking <laughs> narrator. I got her ass trapped in my first game. Eh. There's literally no solution to get out of this. Dad, get, get the board. You guys already know what's happening. If you know how to play chess, you already know how I got her ass. I used to love playing chess. It was one of my favorite things to do in my entire life. It would calm me down. It would help me through my hardest battles. Oh, now you I'm know never going to fucking play ever again. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I don't know if you can see me or not, but it's the morning of my birthday. And we're about to go see the sunrise. Because um, we woke up. We thought we were going to wake up at like 5 or 6, but it's 7 a.m. And the sun still hasn't come up. So I'm like so happy because we have a chance to go see the sunrise at the river. So we're gonna go go do that now. so scary. Um, it's my first time camping and I was just hearing all these sounds and just like it, it's just your imagination that makes it worse because you hear all these sounds and you're like what's that? What's that? So I was a little hard falling asleep last night but I managed to sleep good and I just wanted to talk about how lately like and it applies to me being scared when I was like falling asleep too because this is what helped. Lately, I feel like it's maybe because I'm turning 25. I don't know, like a little fourth quarter, or I mean quarter, like century, existential crisis. Except for me, it feels more like a reflection and it gives me a little bit of like a little panic, but I try to calm myself down. So lately, because I've been turning, I mean, I'm turning 25 today. I've turned 25 today. Um, I feel like I think about death a lot more. Um, I'm thinking about getting older a lot more. Like recently, like in the past week, I've been thinking about all this stuff. And it has kind of put me into a little bit of a panic, but I mean, that's inevitable, right? So when I'm in those moments, when I'm scared, or when I'm a little panicked out because I'm getting older, I try to tell myself, like, you know, like, be present, meditate, whatever it takes, right? I'm actually going to meditate right now, too. Um, do whatever it takes, but, like, I mean, like, we all know death and aging is inevitable. So, I think if we can ground ourselves a little bit more, which is why I wanted to come out camping, because of, I've been feeling this way, um, that really helps because we ground ourselves to earth and not the bigger picture. So when you think bigger picture, you're gonna panic a lot because you're just thinking the universe and all this and how little we are. And all of these mountains are very humbling because they make me feel very small. I feel like, I feel much more grounded to be in nature. And now I'm gonna meditate to kind of bring the 25th year in with grace. And another thing I wanted to add is that nature is so grounding. Like I feel like we are not in nature enough as this is like as this in this modern modern age, we are not in nature enough as our grand as our ancestors were, of course. But our ancestors probably felt very grounded and calm and serene most of the time. I don't know, right? I'm not one of the ancestors. But at least they were connected to the earth and to where they came from, which is this earth. And I think being in nature for me has been a huge source of ridding my panic and any anxiety that I ever feel. I, I just put myself outside. 
I put my feet, I dig my feet in the grass and feel the soil. I, I literally just, I'm, I try to be one with nature when I feel weird or, or when I feel a feeling that is not normal to me. And I feel that we could all benefit from that if we tried it more. When it comes to grounding myself in nature, like I just talked about, I love, love, love to wander off. I want to be alone and like explore um, places where most people won't go. Or obviously I'm not gonna go to like prohibited places, I know where to not go, but I like to explore the whole like where we're at. If there's, But it's mainly near water, I've noticed. When I'm near water, like I love water. When I'm near water, I will go as far as I can. Whether I'm swimming in it or I'm, I'm walking. I feel like, me and water have this like special connection and it's always there for me i don't know how to explain that i know it can i know it probably sounds corny but i genuinely feel that i feel so alive when i'm near water and i go explore it on my own and it helps me like tons i just feel so good oh, sure. it's picnic time birthday picnic time at that Please. So, we love Zion. I went to a little park nearby. George Sunset Park here near Zion. And it's so nice. It's so fresh here. It's so green. And we got a river running like right next to us. On your Grass. That wouldn't surprise me to be Grass fed. Grass fed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, babe. What's up, baby? What you munching on? Some. What are these? Walnuts. <laughs> Walnuts. Yeah. Cute. What is that, hummus? Did you bring that hummus. Meat? It's in there. Hummus and peaches and vegan donuts and nut trays and lettuce, pita bread and hummus. We're gonna make sandwiches though. And later, we're gonna play some Bummy Q. If you don't know what that is, get on it. Guys, look at where I'm just chilling. It's so beautiful here. And wait, wait for it. Oh my god. I'm just in love. Anyway, I like how like I'm in a lake, but it feels like a beach almost. Like there's sand, like there is in the beach, and it just feels so calm here. I'm here alone. My boyfriend and my best friend are like making a fire, and I feel so serene when I'm alone right now like don't get me wrong like I I love my boyfriend and I love my best friend I enjoy their company but maybe I should have spent it alone in nature I don't know it's just when I feel the calmest and most serene and where I can focus on like what I'm thinking um but nonetheless making the best of it and we're gonna go hike the Narrows tomorrow. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, I'm really curious because I'm just, I just love that we're gonna be walking in the water because y'all already know how I feel about the water. So I'm here in the water right now. And then tomorrow we're gonna be walking in some more water and I'm excited, I'm excited, okay? So for now, I'm just gonna chill here. Drink my little, my little wine glass. Enjoy it. And just do me and be in my own head. Later. Here's something that I've noticed tremendous growth in. I am definitely high maintenance. I used to make fun of these girls or think like, oh my god, but girl please, right? And with the growth came self-love. With self-love comes maintenance. 
kids, right? So you're gonna want to take care of yourself. You're, you're gonna have, you're gonna build or develop preferences. You're gonna start to know you don't like this. You do like that. You don't want this. You do want that, right? So if anybody ever says like you're high maintenance, own it because being high maintenance is a big. It's it's actually like a hard thing to do because you know what you like for yourself or what you want for yourself because you've built up the knowledge of knowing what you want or who you are or how you want to take care of yourself right so being high maintenance isn't isn't a joke it is it's, it's a certain thing you grew into at least it's my case right i can't speak for everyone it's my case i have a tremendous amount of self-love that i didn't have before or that i had that i didn't have in the past um, I even became spiritual, whereas before I didn't even believe in spirit, or or I just was so nihilistic. Um, and now, like, if I loved myself, of course I'm going to be high maintenance. And I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I don't care to be cool with the bros, or go with the flow, or not care about a damn thing in the world, because I do care about myself, and what I like, and what I want. So yeah, this one's from my high maintenance girlies because I know you love yourself and I know you care about yourself and keep on doing what you're doing. Alright guys, we just got to the Narrows which is the hike for the day and we're walking towards it and I'm already tired. How are you feeling about the hike today? You excited? We've been out here for six days. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen another person yet for like another month. There's one I don't right know there. What we're gonna do. No, we're hallucinating. I know we're hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay, just bumped into someone, but we've been trudging along all this water, guys. But it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful view. Like, look, this is our view as we hike. I love being in the water. It's just so much fun to me for no reason. <laughs> babe, you look like cute. Are you kidding me? Look how beautiful this view is. Oh no, you're fine. Hey guys, um, I did not update you when we finished the Narrows, which I'm sad about, but because we were so dead after. Um, we went like four hours in and then had to like come back four hours again. So it was like in total a good eight hours um, hiking. Yeah. Safe to say my feet are dead. But at least my calves are sore. So those are going to come back tight. Eh. Um, just woke up this morning and we're packing up to leave. So I'm going to go help them do that. going to get ready to go. And then we're going to go to this really cute coffee shop that me and Maddie found, or Maddie and I found. Um, we love it. Ever since we found it, we've been going every day, which has been like just two days so far. But nonetheless, we're going to hit that up after we're done packing. And I want to show you guys it because it's so cute. Hi guys, we're here at Feel Love Coffee, that cute little coffee shop I talked to you about. Just a cute little space you order and then you drink your coffee outside. So Maddie and I are in line right now. I always get the same thing because I love the self-love coffee. Um, actually, what's the self-love got in it? Oh, there it is. Let's see. A healing latte. Muscovado. Do you know what Muscovado is? MCT coconut oil, I'm molasses. A top layer of foam. That's what I get every time. So excited for that. Which one are you gonna get? Yes. 
the little stick in its mouth. Oh, I got a little stick fish mouth. So on the way, here. sorry, I was just gonna back up, but I'll wait. If you I'll wait. be quick. I just want to explain what this is. Oh, okay. Um, we we're in like we're passing by Navajo Nation, and let me turn this down. Um, we're passing by Navajo Nation, and I've heard of this. I just found out what cedar berries are, or they're also called juniper beets, which um. I got a little bracelet that has a little cedar berry on it. I'm not sure if that was focused on. Also, it came with this necklace. And it's all, it's, it's really cute, but also like the cedar berry itself. Um, they gave me like what the juniper bead um, cedar berry means. Um, and let me just read it real quick. So an old Navajo Indian legend says that juniper beads were, war were worn to chase off evil spirits and nightmares. Um, for, per for protections from nightmares and evil spirits, um, small strands of juniper beads were hung on cradle boards to protect infants while they sleep, and also so they would grow in harmony with Mother Earth. So yeah, super cute. All right, is it recording? It's recording. I'm playing um, Bliss, wait. Bliss by Young Lane. Young Lane featuring a Katie Twist. So anyway, let me just start by saying, obviously I'm back in Utah. Um, I did, it wasn't recording much of the end of it. Hold on, I should turn this off. Okay? I wasn't recording much of the end of the trip because I wanted to be like present with my boyfriend and my best friend, just because it was coming to an end. But I do appreciate you for coming this far and watching the end of the video. I'm so grateful for you. Um, and also, don't think that my room is always this dark. I just happened to only, oh my god, the sky looks like cotton candy, let me show you. Wow, I love, hold on, focus, I absolutely love sunsets in AZ, oh yeah, should have mentioned that, I am from AZ, let's set up this camera.